Hello everyone. It's Reach Wrestling star Connor Moses back again for another video. And welcome back to Titanic VR. Radio check, Wilson. Coming in nice and clear, Dr. Lynch. Great. First up is the purser's office on C-Deck, correct? Correct. To access it, you'll need to head down through the hole where the forward grand staircase was. I'll mark it on your map. There we go. The C-Deck is pretty compressed from what I've heard. Yeah, the impact with the sea floor bent most of the supporting pillars, so they're struggling with the weight of the floors above. With the rate of decay increasing, it won't be long before it all collapses. I'm glad we had a chance to come down here and see it for ourselves, before all this becomes inaccessible. And she was sinking fast then, and all of a sudden she lifted up quickly, and you could hear everything cracking through her. Everything that was movable was going through her. And then she went down and seemed to come up again. So I thought, well, now I'm going to leave. And uh, I was hanging on to a board. We had two boards from Star from Fort which said, keep clear of the propeller blades. And I was hanging on to one of these. I was getting higher and higher in the air. And I thought, well, now I'll go. And I dropped in. I had a lot of them. And I hit the water with a terrific crack. Luckily, I didn't hit it. And I dropped in bodies all over the place. And then I looked up at the Titanic. The propellers were right out of water. The rudder was right out. See the bottom. And then gradually she glided away. It was there, the lump of the Titanic. I didn't want to die. I, mean, I didn't see much chance of living. I was gradually getting frozen up. And uh, by the grace of God, I came across a lifeboat. And they pulled me in. Promenade. With the promenade. So. That's where the um round about where the gymnasium would have been. when descending with the Predator. It might make it easier if you position yourself so the lights shine down the void. Good idea. Deploying there Predator. Starting to descend. I know I've played this a thousand times already, but it never gets old. Right down the grand staircase, that's what remains of it. And so, I just want to talk about the update for Titanic Honor and Glory. Um, as you guys would have seen by the status update we did about a couple of weeks ago, um, they announced they're going to add the engines into the update. Which is something they usually add last thing. Last thing to add to the ship before it's completed. If you get what I mean. That's usually the last thing they add to the ship. So, 
So it's going to be great to see when it's fully finished, but I don't know when that'll be, though. I'm not an expert, like I said, but on the, the game process, but I know they're working on it constantly every day, as I've already said in one of the streams anyway. I think it was... I think it was the past, present and future stream you guys need to check out because I do mention the, if you have not already seen it, they mentioned some, they mentioned the gameplay futures. They do mention the gameplay futures as well, which I highly recommend you guys checking them out. They will do another status update eventually, it's just going to... Take time, really. You can't rush this sort of thing. The elevators. Which were used constantly throughout the voyage. <coughs> <coughs> so I got a bit of pe peanut stuck in my bloody throat, so I had to shift it. Wow. For a lot of you to wonder what deck we're on, a deck. There we go. Whoa. The bathtubs. Wow. This is absolutely incredible. I haven't played on this game for a while, so beware. Be full aware of. It's actually pretty decent. Pretty cool. Nice room. Whoa. It's actually pretty cool. I probably fell over from the impact on the ocean floor. Not saying it was, but then again, I'm not saying it is. More than likely, it probably is. Um, so, here we go. So it's actually pretty decent. These walls would have been a white, painted white. The inside of the rooms would have been like a, some of the rooms would have been like a brown type of color. But the walls, damn, this side of the corridors would have been white. Titanic Honor and Glory gives you that kind of kind of glimpse what the ship would have looked like if you're playing demo 401 or demo 3 in VR which I highly recommend you'll need a Oculus Oculus Quest 2 VR headset to play it in VR which I highly recommend the project to you guys if you want to get caught up to everything watch their past dev streams they did which I highly recommend if you haven't checked them out so you can get caught up with the whole progress and everything else and and everything else honestly I'm so excited I don't know about you guys but honestly I'm one of the very few who has been patiently waiting which you can't rush this at all because it takes oh, how do I p it takes a lot of manpower if that's the word to create something like this really an effort if that's the, the official word I know what I mean I just can't think of the word but anyway you can't exactly rush the team at all, so it'll just it'll come out wrong, and 
it, they work on it every day, so I've already said, the focusing on the ship at the moment. Pretty much, this game's going to be highly recommend, highly recommendable by me, as I've played Demo 401. I'll kind of give, like, my honest thoughts about it, which I love it. And the, well, the first time I actually played it, it was at the exhibition I was just done a video about, uh, but I think it was back in last month, if you haven't check, checked that video out already, I highly recommend it. Um, and um, basically I just started walking around in the, the reading and writing room. And I was just loving a look around in that room and the other rooms. I got lost a bit, but I knew when I was that I finally got the hang of it. Honestly, I haven't played anything THD before, anything THD gameplay related before. But I highly, highly recommend their YouTube channel to you. I'll try my best to link it down in the description. I'll try my best. So, they are the nicest group of people ever. As I said, I think it was a while last year sometime, I applied on one of Tom Linsky's videos, telling him what I suffer with. He says how he wanted to know how he could make it better for me. And I replied, I asked my mum what to put, because I, I didn't have a clue what to, to say, and she pretty much told me what to say, and I'd says carry on what you do and it's a mate it's helping this that and the other and he pretty much loved the comment he's a nice really nice person as well if you haven't already go and subscribe to his youtube channel honestly he is the they are the nice group of people ever he's one of the um youtube inspirations tom linsky part-time explorer he did a real-time sinking on Titanic. I highly recommend that to you guys if you haven't checked it out. Um, honestly, this this game is amazing, but there's a lot of glitches and that. I have come across them. If you have, if you guys want to know the glitches are, there might be a few glitches in this. So be a be full up in this gameplay video. So be full aware and. Um, uh, if you want to check out their website, I highly recommend it. Titanic, I think it was THG. THG. And um, they have a store as well, which they'll. Uh, they have a store as well, and uh, it's going to be great. I hope you guys enjoy that. We'll go in those two rooms in a moment. Just gonna, there's. Oh, that looks nice. Um, I think the first time I played on this game was of January last year and I've been doing full Titanic VR gameplay content for a full year a full year it's highly recommendable oh here we go wow I'll go back that way to go that way in a minute. Just gonna get out of this room quickly. Huh. There we go. There we go. It's gonna be good. One of the um bar many bathrooms. There was a few. That was, unless you had your own, if you had your own, right, suite, like, suite, which, what a suite is, it's mainly, you've got the main room area, it's basically, it's room, on top of another room, or, well, you get the idea, unless there's someone out in the Titanic community that can explain what the suite is, better than I can, that would really help me out, because I tend to explain things differently to other people. Which is completely normal, so be full aware of that when you're watching my gameplays. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe as well. I'm just gonna. Oh, it's starting to get a bit. Starting to get a bit glitchy. This game is a bit. 
this game does have glitches, I'll give you that, and crash. It has crashed on me a few times when I was doing a gameplay video, so not bad. Uh, another pe a pair of sh a shoe. Is there a pair? Is there another one? A pair of shoes. Only one pair, though. Oh, wow. Honestly, I I never get over this. It's just so, I mean, I know it's different to Odd and Glory, because their, their game's going to be, it's not based on the wreck. But this game is amazing, I'll give you that. Go in this room. You can go, if you are able, you can go, you could glitch into that room through the wall. As you can see, this wall's exposed. Some, room, some other rooms are like that as well. Oh, wow, look at that. Absolutely incredible. It's highly recommendable. So I'm just gonna I'm take gonna just check out some of the other rooms now. Wow. We're on A deck at the moment, but we are gonna go down to one B deck. What deck would I go now? Gotta go to C deck. So that's after B deck. We've got to go to the purchase office and the inquiry desk to look for something. You guys will know what if you want to know what for the new viewers. I, I'm doing this for for you guys as well as well as people who love. If this is for you guys, I don't do this for me. I do this for you lot. I do this for you guys. There we go. We're not far from the bottom. We've still got a fair bit to go. I intend to go from Adventure from A deck all the way to D deck. If I'm up for it, I'll go to E deck. But I'm not promising anything. What song's next? So I'm just checking what song's next. The one playing at the moment is Ty Titanic Suit. Oh, it's um, Distant Memories next. For a lot of you wondering what I'm listening to, I'm listening to the music from James Cameron's Titanic, which I was watching that yesterday. Uh, this is a video about THG as well. Um, Titanic on and Glory is highly recommendable. They're still pretty much working on it. Uh, another pair of shoes. There would be pairs scattered throughout the sh ship in certain areas, like this bit here, this area here, this little spot here. I don't, there won't be, I don't know if there'll be any more pairs down that way, but I will search, I'll be on the lookout for that. So, um, oh wow. This is amazing. There we go. Briefcase, suitcases. So that's what you would use to put your luggage in if you're going on the, the ship's maiden voyage back then. That's what your clothes would be, be in. Unless you had a suitcase. Look it, well you had your luggage with you. Your luggage, your clothes, your hat. Your underwear, your socks, you get the idea. And other things you would need. They add light paintings with them to make themselves feel at home. You get the idea pretty much. The paintings that were on Titanic would have gone down with it. So there's nothing to worry about. Is this room accessible? Door's not fully open. There we go. Oh wow. 
I love this game. I really do. Well, this is the first Titanic game I've ever played, funnily enough. Apart from the ones on App Store. Google Play. Play Store. Play. What is it? Play Store. Apart from the ones on that, um... Play Store. I know what I mean. The, the, the app on my, um... What was it? I gotta be with you at a moment. Just gonna try. So I'll be with you in a moment. So I'm back, I just had to check something. It was Play Store. Okay, where am I going? Okay, now I'm freaking lost. Oh, I know where I am now. So I got lost for a minute. Eh? Uh, there's two rooms here. Oh, hang on. It's alright. Oh, wow. This is worth it. I'm just enjoying the game. I'm just going to do this and I'm not going to go on wrestling today to be honest with you, I'm not really up for it. It's just when I play on wrestling gets me worked up too much. With this, it's more of a adventure type game. Uh, so, I'm going to do a video on this hopefully. I don't know how long the video will be. This is going to be something else. Oh, well. Oh, cool. This game's highly recommendable. It's a VR game, so we all... Oh, hang on, wait a minute. Oh, it's alright, we've got a bit. If you guys want to play this on PlayStation 4, it is highly recommendable. You'll need a PlayStation VR headset for it, though. That way, that bit is blocked, but there is a bit of a shortcut. I'm going to go and check out these room, these rooms first before I go down that way. Can't go in those two rooms, but if you had the choice between going into this room and that, this room, these two rooms, you could. Oh, wow, this is this is absolutely blimmin' fantastic. Well. Whoop, let me know, nearly fell over. So I nearly fell over. I'm actually standing up or some play in this. It's a sitting down and standing type of... You can... It's like a... It's a stand up move... Move environment type game as well. So you can stand up, play it. You can sit down, play it. It's entirely your choice. If... If you like my mum and you're disabled, you have trouble walking around and that, you can sit down playing this as well. No, there's no problem, no problems in that, so. So there's nothing to worry about. It is highly recommendable. There we go. A vase. Which was used to put, I would say, flowers mainly but it really just depends what you want to put in them oh well now we've got to go to sea deck we've mainly adventured through all three decks a deck 
B deck and C deck. Now we've got to go to. No, we haven't ventured through C deck. Not yet, but we will eventually. There we go. Chandelier. There's loads scattered throughout the entire rack. A, B, D, and you get the idea. This is highly recommendable. In the, walking in the footsteps of James Cameron right now. Here we are. Great. The purser's office and inquiry desk are on the starboard okay. side. You'll need to go over the desk to get into the side room. Right, I'm here. The office is to the left as you enter. Be careful. This area hasn't been explored before. We don't know what we'll find in here. To think the last person in this room would have been Chief Purser McElroy. The record book would have been kept in a leather pouch. No, yeah, I'm on it. Not there now. I don't see it here. Maybe try the safe back out in the inquiry office. It's not in there. Definitely the doors are here. rusted shut. You can't check inside. Hmm. If it would have been in there, the, the door. No, I can't see the leather pouch anywhere. It might be out of luck. Would have. That's a shame. Would have been have to hope the Marconi room gives us some answers. While we're here, we should collect a sample well. of the rust on the safe doors. NCPA will take a photograph of the scene too. We need to see the rust formations as well. And I'm sure they'll want sure. a sample of this. We'd better move on to the Marconi room. I'll mark it on your map. You'll need to head back to the sub to get there. I'm going to go into what is the most main favourite areas on this on this game, which is this amazing room. Oh, if it let me get in. Yeah, we're in. This is the Ida and Isidore suite as well, and um, the Titanic on and Glory like. Titan on the glory is going to be going to be, going to be completely accurate what the ship would have looked like in both inside and outside outside as well they're literally recreating the entire entire Titanic and you have my word they're recreating well that's what the main goal is is to recreate Titanic um, this is a good game it's mainly fad bits of broken furniture and everything else. This is where Iden as a door would have slept. He he they both had separate beds. He probably had this bed or her, and then there would have been a bed like this one. On where yeah, round about where that debris is, the chair and the bits of uh bed like that one I'm looking at would have been right here somewhere right where I'm in front of me somewhere something like that it was so roughly something like that and it's and it's a good game there uh, we go so it's going to be a highly this is a highly recommendable game you can't go through that way for you guys you'll know why because that's at the point where the ship's split in half um, the Titanic Holland Glory game is highly recommendable I've gone down that way so many times if you guys want to go watch the past videos of Titanic VR me go down that way I highly recommend it if you guys want to check out that area if you guys want to see what the area looks like I'm gonna go to D deck and then I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, before that, before I wrap it up, we've got to do that mission. Uh, uh the, another pair of shoes it would have been made properly from members of the crew, uh, or the passengers. You never really know, really. Could be from anyone. That includes this jacket. 
Oh, wow. Uh, the... No, remains of the sofa. This is basically remains of furniture and shoes and... You get the idea. Uh, this is where you would board the ship. Mainly, I think it was first class passengers that would board through these... through these doors. Um... So, here we go. This game's highly recommendable. Chandelier still in perfect condition. The same with that one, really. Oh, hang on. I'll go down this way. There we go. I'm gonna go check out this. This is one of the other bathrooms. There's sinks. One sink the one end, one sink the other, and toilets. If you wanted to go to toilets, is where you would come. Another pair of shoes. Um, here we go. Here we go. This is actually a pretty good game. Oh well. One of the many bedrooms. Oh wow, well. this is amazing. I could play this non stop. This is one of the other many bedrooms as well. There's, well, there's about 200. No, hang on. Hang on a moment. That was about... Sorry, I just try to remember. 2,208 passengers on board the ship that fateful... Fateful voyage. Well, fateful and only voyage. Oh... I just... Seeing... Playing this in VR, I just never ever get over it. It's just so so beautifully made even though it has a lot a ton of glitches and crashes you get the idea pretty much. It's still unfinished obviously. Well, actually now you mentioned it I'm gonna go check out these rooms because I know you guys want to know what these two rooms would would look like. Oh there we go. I'm gonna I'm checking out these rooms these rooms for you guys. There we go. This is awesome. One of the muddy pothole windows. That's the view you would get view of the ocean if you're on the ship's maiden voyage you'll get a view of the ocean and sunset depending on what time is on board hmm. this is a good game Another shoe. The squash court would have been right down them stairs somewhere. Another bathroom.
This is one of the many rooms as well. As you can see, the wall's exposed. The wall is exposed. So is this wall. But that door is mainly sh shut as well. Well, as you guys can see, this is amazing. Jug. So most the walls on area, certain areas on the ship's exposed. You can see. That way's that bit's blocked, as you can see. If anybody can, can would know why that bit the area is blocked, or if you can comment down below, I highly recommend it. I've always wondered how it that bit how that bit ended up like that. I was going to say collapse, but I don't know if that's the right word. Right, right word. This is a good game. Bunk beds. More rooms. And another jacket. Another room. That would have been the ward that would have been the wardrobe. Now we're gonna go and do the mission. Go to the Marconi room. Chandelier, which fell from above onto the floor. Going. Here we go. If you lot haven't already, subscribe as well. If you want more Titanic content like this, I do these content as the Marconi well. Marconi room isn't too far from here. Just between the first funnel and your current position. How do I get in? Either through the skylight or the corridors. Oh, Up to you which skylight. you feel is safer. Right, I don't want to damage the wreck or the ROV. I'm going to go through the skylight. It's what a skylight is. It's this, this bit I'm just about to go down. There we go. I'm in. There really isn't much left here, is there? No, that would have really. been the bedroom. Most of the furniture was wood. So it's the wardrobe would have been right in front somewhere. There's a lot of debris somewhere. on the ground. And a few broken uh, this canisters. Is the in my cunning room, that is the wireless room. Retrieve the canisters from the Makoda room. Pardon me. All right, just three. They're worried about recovering this bit, this bit here, but I don't know if they will. I'll grab the last one. They're all about recovering right. it, but I don't I've think they the will. A part of me doesn't want them to. A part of me doesn't want them. I just. I just wish they would leave the wreck alone. I just want them to leave the wreck alone now. Uh, Simon Fisher's like, like, as I met Simon Fisher, he told me himself. He says I think he said I think they just should just leave the ship, ship alone, and I completely agreed with him. Uh, yeah, pretty much agreed with him as well. Here we go. Oh, blow it up. 
All right, heading back up now. If you guys haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. Push the notification bell to be notified if you're talking about YouTube, love you guys so much. Peace out.